Hey everybody, it's WB, and today we are getting started on uh, something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, which is uh, doing a uh, camouflage pattern on, in this case, my uh, SKS Norenko paratrooper model here. Uh, down below you'll see a Crossman uh, 177 caliber BB gun, which I've kind of dedicated as my uh, experiment experimental gun to try to get the uh, camo pattern that I wanted to try worked out. So I've experimented with this, I flip it over on the other side, and, uh, and uh, basically I've just been play playing around with different color combinations, different patterns to, uh, to uh, see what I liked prior to actually putting it on a uh, real gun. And uh, again, this is the one I've decided to paint uh, just based on the fact that it's do have some other guns that I've uh, considered painting, but this one uh, is basically one that price-wise is more or less replaceable as opposed to some of the other ones. I, you know, I want to um, kind of do this on something that uh, wouldn't cost me a thousand dollars to replace if I, if I really messed it up. Uh, I've been experimenting a little bit with uh, some Sega handguards. Uh, I've been kind of ventilating it a little bit. Uh, the, the stock Sega handguards don't really have much to uh, let the heat out. So I've been experimenting on uh, bending them out, cutting them down a little bit, and uh, trying the different colors of camouflage paint, as well as uh, the uh, sealer or finisher that you can put uh, on to uh, help protect the paint a little bit. And uh, so anyway, I've been playing around with that a little bit on magazines and again, the Sega handguards and just uh, miscellaneous other items. So I think I'm ready to give this a go. I've got the gun, uh, all taped off here. Uh, I've got the uh, ceremonial earplug in the barrel. I've got the front sight taped off. I've got the upper and uh, lower rails taped off. Now I do have the, uh, the little vertical forward folded up there. I'm going to paint that. I've got the bolt and uh, the uh, rear sight and just a few other miscellaneous uh, parts here and there taped off. But uh, anyway, it didn't really do a lot as far as preparation on this. Uh, I just I just really want to test this out, see how it works without a whole lot of uh, preparation going into it. Again, this is more of a, an experimental uh, project here just to see how it turns out and, uh, and to see how it holds up. Again, without a ton of preparation here, rather than going with a degreaser, I've uh, I just kind of wiped it down uh, you know, took it apart, wiped it down a little bit, uh, wiped it down with some alcohol, and um, and uh, just going to see how it works. Going to going to put the paint on there, uh, get a pattern on there that I like, and put a sealer on it, and then just test it out. You know, take it out, shoot it a little bit, clean it up, and uh, just see how the how the finish holds. But uh, that's where we're at right now. Uh, we'll uh, update this with um, with the, the finished product and maybe some of the steps along the way. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Okay, we're picking up where we left off with our SKS paint video. And um, got about halfway done yesterday. I painted the whole thing in an uh, olive drab color. And then on one side I've already applied the uh, more or less camouflage pattern. And uh, it's been drying overnight. And I'm about to finish painting the other side. And let that dry probably 24 hours, and then we'll go ahead and put the uh, clear coat on it. And then we will see how it holds up.